Are you a fan of classic Hollywood TV shows? If so, you might have a favorite classic actor from the 1957 TV series, Zorro. This iconic series brought a swashbuckling hero to the small screen and captured the hearts of many. But before we delve into asking about your cherished memories, let's set the stage with some fascinating tidbits about the show. Zorro, which aired in the late 1950s, was a black and white adventure series set in Spanish-ruled California. It followed the daring escapades of Don Diego de la Viga, a wealthy landowner who led a double life as the masked vigilante Zorro, fighting for justice against oppressive officials. Now, back to you. Did you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor from this TV series? Or perhaps you have a personal story about how Zorro has left a lasting impact on your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your thoughts and let's celebrate the enduring appeal of Zorro. The TV series Zorro from 1957 was known for the laurel and hearty like teaming of Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon, and their unforgettable performance was a big hit that captured the hearts of viewers worldwide. The way they brought humor and camaraderie to their characters added a unique charm to the show, making it not just about action and adventure, but also about the delightful interactions between Sergeant Garcia and Corporal Reyes. Their on-screen partnership was so successful that after the Zorro series ended, Disney couldn't resist utilizing their talents in other productions. From Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus to the whimsical world of Babes in Toyland, Calvin and Sheldon's dynamic duo continued to shine. They effortlessly transitioned from the rugged frontier setting of Zorro to the circus Big Top and the fantastical world of Toyland, showcasing their versatility as actors. The chemistry between these two actors wasn't just a fleeting spark, it left a lasting impact on the show's success and the hearts of the audience. Their iconic performances and the laughter they brought to viewers are still fondly remembered by fans to this day, serving as a testament to the enduring power of great on-screen partnerships. In the world of entertainment, the legacy of Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon lives on as their work continues to bring joy and amusement to new generations of viewers. Their unique brand of humor and camaraderie is a timeless treasure that reminds us of the magic of classic television. In the 1957 TV series Zorro, Disney Studios allocated substantial budgets for the show, but they also aimed to keep costs down where it wouldn't be visible on screen. To achieve this, directors frequently filmed parts of up to four episodes simultaneously, particularly when the scenes shared common sets. However, this approach occasionally posed challenges for the actors, as they found it hard to recall their characters' motivations for the scenes being filmed. This behind-the-scenes tactic shed light on the pragmatic side of producing a series like Zorro, balancing financial constraints with the need to deliver an engaging and visually captivating show. Zorro's horse in Los Angeles, California, was named Tornado. When the action shifted to Monterey, a different horse, Phantom, was used. This change not only added variety to the show but also allowed for flexibility in the choice of settings. Furthermore, Zorro was a significant addition to Disney's lineup in 1957, becoming the third Disney-produced series to run concurrently in the same season, joining the magical world of Disney and the Mickey Mouse Club. This demonstrated Disney's commitment to providing diverse and entertaining content for television audiences. In summary, Zorro, the 1957 TV series, offered a unique blend of action, adventure, and budget-conscious production techniques, exemplifying Disney's dedication to delivering quality programming. In the 1957 TV series Zorro, one interesting fact is that during the two-year lawsuit between Disney and ABC that halted the series' production, Disney kept Guy Williams, who played the titular character, on full salary. This shows the value of the actor to the production and how the legal disputes impacted the show's continuity. Guy Williams' portrayal of Zorro had become iconic, and Disney recognized the importance of retaining his talents, even during a legal battle. It's an example of how behind-the-scenes events can profoundly affect a beloved TV series. These off-screen developments are often hidden from the viewers, but they play a significant role in shaping the final product that we see on our screens. So, the next time you enjoy an episode of Zorro or any other classic show, remember that there's often a lot more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye.
Seeking solace, the heartrending goodbye of Zorro's cast member from Hollywood to escape an unhealthy industry environment. In 1957, the TV series Zorro captured the hearts of viewers with its swashbuckling action and daring heroics. However, behind the scenes, one of its cast members faced a painful decision. The actor, seeking solace, said goodbye to Hollywood in an attempt to escape an unhealthy industry environment. This departure shed light on the harsh realities that some actors faced during the golden age of Hollywood. The allure of fame and fortune in Hollywood often came at a steep price. For this Zorro cast member, the toxic environment and pressures of the industry became unbearable. The actor made the difficult choice to step away from the glitz and glamour in search of a healthier and more fulfilling life. Leaving behind a promising career in the entertainment capital of the world, this cast member's decision was a poignant reminder of the personal sacrifices that some individuals had to make to protect their well-being. The story serves as a testament to the toll that the entertainment industry could take on its talents, even during the height of their success. In the end, the Zorro series continued to thrive, but the departure of this cast member left a lasting impact, shedding light on the struggles that many actors faced during that era. Their quest for solace and escape from an unhealthy industry environment serves as a somber chapter in the history of Hollywood. The pressure to perform, how high expectations, and fame led to depression in Zorro's cast member cast the 1957 TV series Zorro enjoyed immense popularity, but the fame it brought to its cast members also had a dark side. The pressure to perform at the highest level and the constant glare of the public eye took a toll on the actors. In this article, we will discuss how the high expectations and fame led to depression in Zorro's cast members. The success of Zorro created a massive fan following, and people had high expectations from the cast. The actors were under constant scrutiny, and any slip-up could make headlines. This constant pressure to live up to the heroic image they portrayed on screen was mentally taxing. Several cast members struggled with depression due to the stress of fame. They had to maintain their public image while dealing with personal challenges. This struggle took a toll on their mental health and well-being. In the world of Hollywood, the pressure to perform is relentless. Zorro's cast members were not immune to it. The burden of fame, the expectations of their fans, and the demands of the industry contributed to their battles with depression. The story behind the scenes of Zorro reveals the hidden challenges that the cast members faced. It serves as a reminder that fame comes with a price, and the pressure to perform can have devastating consequences on one's mental health. In conclusion, the cast members of the 1957 TV series Zorro faced significant challenges due to the high expectations and fame they achieved. Depression was a common struggle among them, brought on by the relentless pressure to perform. It's a sobering reminder of the hidden side of fame in Hollywood. As we draw the curtain on this exhilarating journey through the world of the 1957 TV series Zorro, we invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your personal connection to this iconic show. Zorro, with its swashbuckling action, unforgettable characters, and timeless themes of justice and heroism, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. Whether you grew up watching the masked Avenger defend the oppressed or discovered this classic gem later in life, the series has a unique place in your memories. What are your fondest recollections of the dashing Zorro and his daring escapades? Did you admire his cunning tactics, swoon over his charisma, or perhaps even daydream about embarking on your own adventures? Share your cherished moments, thoughts, or reflections on how Zorro influenced your life. In this digital age, we can unite to celebrate the enduring legacy of Zorro. Share your stories, opinions, and favorite episodes. Let the world know how this TV series touched your heart and inspired you. After all, Zorro isn't just a character, he's a symbol of bravery, a beacon of hope, and a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one person can make a difference. Thank you for taking this nostalgic journey with us, and for sharing your thoughts and memories about Zorro. Your passion and enthusiasm are what make these stories live on for generations to come. Keep the spirit of Zorro alive, and keep those memories close to your heart.